Mike Shoesmith here. In the recent debate between myself and four atheists, evidence was given for microbe to man evolution that was typical, boring, and certainly nothing new. They trotted out the old tired hero, bacteria. They claim that speciation has been proven, case closed. Well, here are my thoughts on the subject. Very few people in the arena of philosophical ideas have never heard of Darwin's finches, birds with different sized beaks which serve different purposes depending on various demands placed on them by their surrounding habitat. Ever since then, these adaptive natural selection traits have been documented and even observed in cases where reproduction happens quickly. One of these is the hero of modern atheistic evolution theory. Bacteria reproduce quickly and therefore can be observed over many generations. The process of speciation happens when traits develop in subsequent generations to allow a bacterium to perform tasks it could not previously accomplish. This may involve digesting a food source when introduced into a foreign environment. This is the case with nylon eating bacteria. And E. coli have recently been caught in the act of speciation and yeast bacteria have been a source of great adaptation ability. Yet none of this comes as any surprise to creationists. In fact, we owe a great debt of gratitude to those folks out there who went to such great lengths to prove speciation since that is exactly what the Bible predicts and exactly what we would expect to happen following the flood. Noah was not commanded to load up two of every, every species on the ark. That would require a boat much larger than the one built. Knowing that speciation would occur, Noah was commanded to load only two of every kind. Two dogs, for example, probably a wolf-like creature, have been speciating ever since. Likewise, for all the rest of the land-dwelling creatures of the day, even dinosaurs, though we're looking at smaller versions of those today. So to all the Evo heads out there trying to prove microbe to man evolution by showing evidence for speciation, thanks for giving us even more assurance that the Bible is true and atheism is silly. Finally, here's something to ponder. If all the videos on YouTube which straw man the argument by proving speciation and saying it proves Darwinian evolution were deleted from YouTube servers today, that would require the largest defrag in history. <laughs> Thanks for watching.